You okay? Yeah. Miriam Ziegler vowed she would never do this. We were the deeper in. Never again confront the horrors she endured while imprisoned in Auschwitz-Birkenau. But she's doing it anyway, her daughter Adrian supporting her. Miriam pulled back to Poland by the power of a single picture. These silent but searing images were made 70 years ago as Auschwitz and other camps were liberated. From these films by a Russian cameraman, still images were made and shared around the world. Perhaps none better known than this one, a collection of kids saved. One of them, the one showing her tattoo, would end up in Canada. That's Miriam Ziegler. In this picture, I'm nine years old. I'm nine years old in this picture. For decades, Miriam Ziegler lived in Canada, raising a family, enjoying her life, blissfully unaware the picture from her past existed. That's what I was showing the Russians when they, yeah. when they liberated us. She still has that tattoo, of course. As you can see, 16,891.8. Then, in the 1980s, on a trip to Israel, she spotted herself in a museum, the picture she didn't know existed. I'm trying to read the expression on your face. It's a sad expression. I am. I was shocked. I was shocked that there is a picture from everything that happened, from everybody that died there, that there's a picture that I can say I'm on that picture. Now, because of that picture, she was invited back to Poland to the ceremonies marking the 70th anniversary of the liberation. Miriam tried to visit decades ago, and when she got close, turned back, haunted by her memories of life and death inside Auschwitz-Birkenau. But this will likely be the last time concentration camp survivors will be able to travel in numbers. So she decided to go. I have to tell my story, and I have to go there and say, after the hell that I lived through here, I am 70 years older and I am still alive. And people have to know the real story. Okay, and if you could look into the camera as you're pointing. Today, she posed again with some of the others from that iconic photo. Just look straight into the lens, that's great. The nine-year-old girl from the picture, now almost 80. I'm very lucky. I'm one of the luckiest person that I could build a life for myself after it. But this was the hardest part, the much dreaded visit to the camp where she had been held, the Canadian flag, a gesture of thanks to the country where she started over again. Well, it was the Russians who were coming when we were watching through the wires. This is likely the spot where the picture was taken back in 1945, the emotions overpowering. <laughs> Miriam wanted more pictures taken to mark this moment. You're okay. You didn't want to come back. I didn't, but I'm glad I did. Maybe, maybe I will stop dreaming all those horrible things now that I'm here, free. 70 years after her picture was taken here, she is grateful to have lived, when so many others did not. Harvard Gould, CBC News, Auschwitz-Birkenau.